I'm Lisa Sullivan, the Senior Curator here at Geelong Gallery. Kate Bainon's Kindred Spirits is part of the gallery's Collection Leads series of exhibitions. And this is a fairly new and exciting initiative whereby we develop exhibitions based on key works from our collection and we contextualise those works in the artist's practice as a whole. And the work that takes its lead or is the starting point for this particular exhibition is the gallery's work by Kate Bainon, Graveyard Scene, The Beauty and Sadness of Bones, which was the winner of the 2016 Geelong Contemporary Art Prize. And it's a fantastic work that comes from a broader series, An Li, A Chinese Ghost Tale. An Li, A Chinese Ghost Tale is the artist's retelling of an ancient Chinese tale through both images and also text. Um, Kate tells this story of An Li, the main protagonist of the story, who is a young dancer, an acrobatic dancer, who falls to his death in waters. Uh, in the watery depths of the afterlife, he falls in love with Rose of Evening, and the two of them combine um, and chart their life together in both the watery depths, but also in the earthly zone as well. So it's a supernatural story of um, ghosts, and it's very much a love story as well. This painting, Graveyard Scene, The Beauty and Sadness of Bones, falls in the latter part of the narrative after An Li uh, has lived some of his life in the spiritual world and he returns to the earthly world in this painting. So here in this scene, he's the central figure, the cross-legged spectral form, holding a heart which connects him with his mother and in the red figure on the left is his grieving mother. There's also a range of other signs and symbols that link with the story, but also with Kate's Chinese ancestry. So we have things such as the um, Buddhist temple dogs in the foreground, the skeletal forms that are half animal, half human, that act as memento mori. We have oranges, which of course are offered in the Buddhist religion um, to ancestors and the beautiful porcelain bowl, which is also a very personal item in Kate's story, uh, in that that was a, a memento or a, a bowl that was owned by her grandmother. There are other elements such as the, um, the lotus flower, which of course is a symbol of renewal and transformation, and also the hand of Quan Yin, who's the guiding spirit for both An Li and Rose of Evening through their story. So Kate's very much a multidisciplinary artist. What we see here in the current exhibition are paintings, uh, watercolours, and the watercolours are wonderfully linked with the story. The story of An Li and Rose of Evening takes place very much in the watery depths of another um, aquatic world. Um, so the way that Kate uses watercolours is beautifully aligned with the story itself. Uh, she also brings watercolour off the page and onto fabric forms. And these are the three-dimensional sculptural forms that she uh, paints, sews, and threads onto me metallic cord. And these are some of the um, symbols that appear in the paintings as well, whether they're oranges, lotus leaves, uh, hands, skulls, uh, and they're brought into a three-dimensional realm. And then a final element of the media that she works with is an animation, a video animation, in which she brings together a lot of the watercolours uh, and makes them active uh, to tell us the story in a different format. So in addition to showing works from the An Li, A Ghost Tale series, this exhibition also brings together works that pre and post date that series of works. And here we have a series of watercolours, four watercolours, in which the notion of kindred spirits extends. So each of these four figures are guardians or demigods or aliens wearing protective cloaks made of kindred spirit forms and also some botanical symbols that have very protective and healing qualities such as cacti, sansevera, lotus and tangerine. So in these compositions, the figures are surrounded by protective cloaks and talismans, just as the figure of Quan Yin was the protective cloak or guardian spirit in the An Li series. Another kindred spirit represented in the exhibition is the blue shaman guardian, and he's represented by a portrait watercolour 
drawn by Kate, uh, and he's surrounded by some three-dimensional soft sculptures which act as protective amulets. But in an additional work that Kate's created, especially for exhibition, she prepares a robe, a protective robe for the blue shaman. And it's a wonderful three-dimensional soft sculpture in which she paints and sews these beautiful leaf-like forms, as well as some eyes that are on both the back and the front of the protective cloak. And so this, ex this work also links in, of course, with the, the guardian figures that are the watercolours in which each of those figures also wear their protective cloaks. I think one of the most exciting things about this exhibition is being able to, as a curator, take a really key work from our collection and share or place it within the broader context of the artist practice. So, so often we see works in isolation within a collection. Um, in this exhibition and through this exhibition opportunity for the artist, we're able to share with the visitor um, the broader context for this particular work and show that it's not created in isolation, but it's created within the body of a, a larger group of works and a larger narrative.